Ready to serve. The fire hungers for us. Through the flames. Sharpshooter, a problem requires your attention. Does it now? One of the skellies was found on deck, motionless. Someone is using them for target practice again? No, it's not waking up. You should investigate. Hmm. I'll take care of it. Let's get a better view. Hmm. The scene of the crime. Let's see what we can find. Change in position. Hmm. The victim. Skeleton. Normal build. All bones accounted for and intact. Hey, you! Doesn't react to sensory stimulation. Its soul remains a table. No other mugs. Victim drank alone. I see where this is going. Broken mug on the floor. Likely the victim's. Hmm. The deck is damp with some of the contents. It didn't finish. Hmm. The salty air and the soul-infused wood of the marley should have cleansed the dampness right away. That was not mere rum. This drink has been tampered with. Current evidence points towards adulterated rum. I'll have to convene with Pete and the Nameless One. They're the ones overseeing the distribution of rum rations. It's done. Hey, wait. Huh? What? It's the crow. Don't you see her? No, I don't see anything. Wait. That's not me. <laughs> She's the blind one. Very entertaining, as usual. Business is going good? Good. Tell her, Pete. How are the numbers looking? Hmm. Most of them are round. <laughs> Others are a bit squared at the moment. Oh, I'll make it short for you. We've got poisoned rum on deck. You're the ones responsible for the rum's purity, so I'd advise you to cooperate unless you want to stand trial. A trial? Please, please, no. <laughs> Nothing is longer than a trial. I'll let the Marley know about your testimony. Once more unto the beach. I've seen it happen. Greetings, ship. What have you found, Crow? Can we cut through the act where you pretend you haven't witnessed all that's happened here? Do you notice every itch and every scratch that irritates your skin? I do. Please, indulge me. The victim drank poisoned rum. Oh, Pete and the Nameless One are involved again. It was a rash call by the captain to make them oversee the rum. Well, it was either them or our well-trusted quartermaster. 
Sometimes you're stuck between a lull and a treacherous stream. I presume you've talked to them already. What did they say? They're concerned with the length of the trial and the shape of numbers. Just what you expect from them then. Yeah, maybe you're right. I also took the mug that held the afflicted fluids. I'll have to investigate it more, which will take time. I'll get back to you once I've found something. Once more unto the beach. Now, what did you find, Crow? The rum was definitely poisoned. Didn't you come to that conclusion already? But now I know more about it. The poison is like none I've seen before. Tell me, how's the skeleton holding up? It is poisoned. But awake? If you can call it that, yes. Then I'll have to question him. Good luck. Change in position. How are you doing? Boredom bears benevolent besiegements. Excuse me? Righteousness regards reindeers rotundly. Right, indeed. Yeah. Look, I just need you to tell me who gave you the rum. Miraculously, mugs manage moisture. Not much of a miracle. Now once again, where did you get the rum? Whimsical whereabouts wine wondrously. Ugh. That stuff was even stronger than I expected. I'll have to talk to the Marley about this again. Let's get a better view. Ah, the crow crawls back cravenly, I see. Funny, ship. Unfortunately, I need a coherent and not an alliterative statement. The mug alone isn't enough evidence. No. As I said, I haven't seen this kind of poison before. I need to find whoever served this sludge and see if they have more of it. Hmm. I wish I could take a peek into the head of that darn skeleton. There is one person who could. Oh, no. I'm only saying that, as he can do what you ask for. Out of the question. I'd rather burn a thousand millennia in the Maiden's stead before working a second with that imbecile. I'll find a way to get that skeleton to talk. A good knock to the head may resolve his issues. Let fate be our judge. Your crimes are severe. I am your executioner. Ah, the better part of me. The future calls. How do you feel? Jugular juxtapositions joust jesters. I... Maybe I'll have to get more creative. A little soul essence, maybe. Land of the blind and antiquities accelerate arbitrary angles. Rayos y centellas. It seems there really is no escape. I'll have to ask him, but I can't do it now. I need to rest as much as I can beforehand.
once more unto the breach. Pinkus. And thus the canopies in Caribbean jungles provide caterpillars with a much-needed perspective. Writing senseless drivel as usual. Ah, yes. Sometimes, when there is really nothing of matter to be written in my memoirs, I just go on creative tangents, hoping to find my step again. Recently, I've been struggling a bit, but I am unwavering in my unquestioned trust to my abilities returnation. Returnation? Great minds are not content with only writing words, they strive to create them. What have you achieved so far, Teresa? Pinkus? I came here because I need your assistance. Of course. Uh, wait. You need my assistance? Unfortunately, yes. Fortunate indeed. I agree. Under eight conditions. Cut it down to one. I get full publishing rights to whatever transpires between now and solving the crime. By all means. Now come. And I need you to bring me my special detective quill. Still behind the sawfish in the captain's quarters. You remembered where I store it? How could I forget? Be ready when I come back. I desire a pet. Any animals you prefer? Shark. Tough fight. Cons. Change in position. Of all the places to hide quill and paper. Huh, a sharp tool behind a sharp fish. Doesn't that make sense, Teresa? Back to Pinkos. Let fate be our judge. Here they are. And so my assistant returns to me with my most vital tools. Assistant? Yeah, let's not get hung up on a mere draft, Teresa. Now, what is the task at hand? There is a skeleton whose mind I need you to peek into. Again, my remarkable abilities lit a beacon of hope among our canopy of surmounting troubles. Ha! I knew writing about canopies would come in handy. Don't get too ahead of yourself, Pinkles. The victim drank strong soul-altering poison. It would be quite the mess in there. Ha! Allegedly poison almost became one of my middle names. I'll inspect him right now. Dicho y hecho. to put this smoking right oh that is quite quibbling now do you see anything yes yes I just haven't hung hereditary from festering fields Pinkos is taking you over get out of there just one ominous occasion. Pinkus! While the hero lies on the floor with flat breath, his worried assistant kneels at his side. You haven't taken a breath in 30 years. And if you call me assistance again, I will chase you from here to Madre Grande. That would make quite the tale, wouldn't it? 
I must say, in all sincerity, I am rather exhausted. It was quite perilous inside that one's mind. Without your heeding words, I may have not returned. Thank you. You're welcome. A single tear rolls down Teresa's cheek. I don't have eyes, Pinkles. Ah, yes. It's easy to forget sometimes. You do glare quite intensely if you want to. Right, uh, exactly like that. Hmm. I'll need some of your tobacco to keep my patience. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, I am currently experiencing an unexpected shortage. If there weren't ongoing investigations already, I may have asked you to help me find it. But it will turn up soon, I'm sure. Once more unto the beach. Let's get a better view. Ahoy, Marley. I'm ready for the court to assemble. Oh, so you found conclusive evidence? Indeed. I'll call in the victim and appoint the jury and a judge. I expected you'd want to be the judge. It would be far easier if I was still judge, jury, and executioner. Then again, those times are behind me, yes? Through the flames. How are we holding up? Harmed head hurts harrowingly. I believe you. I'm sure you'll recover swiftly. The court will be in session soon. Craven confessions creak creepily. Ha! Huh, they do indeed. My qualities are needed. Teresa, para servirle. The future calls. Pinkos, I need your assistance once more. Assistance? I don't appreciate being affiliated with such an obsequious term. I need a judge at my court. A judge? Me? Why didn't you lead with that? Of course I'll be a judge. I can count on you then? Count on me? It's in my title, Teresa. Of course you can count on me. Judgment is at hand. Look who's clambered out of her roost, Pete. The yellow flamingo? No, it's the white crow, you pellet. You are hereby summoned to Marley's court. Oh, the last time I was summoned, I forgot my name. I see where this is going. Pirates, skeletons, defendants, and accusers, please rise to your feet. Sorry, they don't have any. Permission to remain tied to the ship granted. The prosecution may now present the charges. Today we've gathered on the account of poisoned rum and the ensuing damages to a skeleton. During the investigation, the prosecution found ample amounts of poisoned rum in the Marley's hold. Objection, Your Honor! Misrepresentation of our storage! 
The amounts were at least significant. Sustained. Significant amounts of poisoned rum in the hold. And one of the barrels showed clear evidence of tampering. And that concludes the case. Eat and the nameless one, you're hereby... A moment, Pinkus. If Pete and the Nameless One truly were meddling with their rum, they'd done it to all their supplies. Yet there was only one barrel which had been tampered with. Therefore, the prosecution would like to call in the victim. Please, display your affliction. Abominable adulteration amplitudes affliction. Now, Pinkles, here, this is a small sample of the rum of the afflicted barrel. Smell it. Hmm? That smells like... Your missing batch of tobacco. My missing... But yes, of course. Ha! That leaves only one conclusion. The perpetrator is me. No, Pinkus, you didn't do it. The perpetrator is no other than... the victim himself. Contagious claims carry contentiousness. Ooh. Should we go ahead and compare your footprints with those at the scene of the crime? Daringly drink despicable distillate. Huh? Could it be that he's urging us to drink the rum? Approved agreements accrue acknowledgement. The judge orders the court to sample the rum. As it so happens, I do have a small sample here, Pinkus. Objection! The sample has been obtained without admission. Hmm. Overruled. The judge is quite thirsty. Ah. Oh, my! Why are you so worried? This is most excellent. A bit too excellent, perhaps. Hmm? The rum on the Marley is usually fine, but this is extraordinary. Inequality inebriates insufferably, inconsistently. Indeed. When I entered Pete and the Nameless Hold, I was surprised to find three different barrels. One that held the poisoned rum that barely smelt like rum, one that held normal rum, and a third barrel containing what we just drank. I wonder how on a ship where everybody is supposed to get the same rum, you can explain these three different casks. You've watered down the skeleton's rum and kept the best for yourselves, which would mean a blatant violation of the Marley's code. Is there anything you'd like to say in your defense? <laughs> Pete's fallen asleep, so I'll confess for the both of us. Another confession, then. Good. You have heard the evidence. What is your verdict, Pinkus? In the case of the literary skeleton, I find the victim guilty on all counts. As a punishment, I order the victim to act as a court scribe. These dreary procedures could certainly use a bit of a literary sprinkling. In the case of the bad rum, Pete and the Nameless One are ordered to send the good rum to my quarters. Pinkus? 
uh, where it will promptly be redistributed to the rest of the crew. The court is adjourned. to put this. I knew this would come. Change in position. Enjoying the rum? The little that is left for me. Justice can be such a nuisance sometimes. Ha! <laughs> Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. I say, Teresa, how did you figure out that I'd lost my tobacco? Since I've known you, you have been insufferable. A flat-out fool, and I can't believe I haven't shot you. But you never once denied me a smoke. Mm. Look, Pinkus, for what is worth, you're not a bad man. You're just a bad person. You do have a way with words if you choose to apply yourself. Have you ever considered writing your own memoirs? I do write. Very rarely. But I prefer wood carving. Keeps my hands and thoughts busy. I always saw it as a way to be kept alive long after death. Admittedly, a habit that I picked up before I embarked upon this eternal path. Eternity can be a frightening thing. We made a strange choice, didn't we? Hmm. Do you have a smoke, or not? I've seen it happen. the flames. Pinkos? Ah, Teresa, you have returned. Uh, let me see. I've written down what I saw. There we were, in this beautiful field of daffodils and dandelions, just me and her serenading each other with our... Ah, no, I must be excused. It seems I have stumbled upon an entry of my dream journal. I don't say Jamia. Another moment, if you will. Here, this ought to be the correct document. Um, yes. The skeleton drew the rum from a very particular barrel. One that bore the insignia of two skulls, one of them broken. Pete and the nameless one. Have you held on to the route the skeleton took to get there? Uh, yes. Here. These are the scribblings regarding the path. I don't know if they're of any help. Hmm. I'll show it to Estelle. She'll know what to do. I'll get back to you, Pinkos. Dicho y hecho. Estelle, can you take a look at this? Do you think you can get me there? No, it's an official investigation. Nobody needs to know about this. I'm glad I can count on your discretion. Once more, the myth enshrouded stash of Pete and the Nameless. It was only a question of time until my work led me. 
Another barrel. As far as I can tell, that one seems untouched. Just normal stinking rum. <laughs> Probably as much a poison as the poison. I was just saying, the myth enshrouded stash of peat and... Footprints. All of them skeletal in nature. What I meant to say was, the myth enshrouded stash of Pete and the Nameless. It was only a question of time until... That smell! This barrel must hold the poison. Hmm, strange. This has only the slightest note of rum to it. Either the poison is very strong or... Well, if my suspicions are correct... Ah, there it is. I'll keep a hold of that. I'll take some of the fluid as well. I was just saying the myth enshrouded stash of Pete and the Nameless. It was only a question of time and... Was this an unmarked barrel? The wood itself seems quite fresh. Potent smell as well. Hmm. This I will have to remember. Hmm. I'll take a sample of that. What I meant to say was, the myth enshrouded stash of peat and the nameless. It was only a question of time until my work led me here. Let the investigation commence. I think I've found all there is to find here. The culprit seems clear. One thing doesn't, however. Why is there only one victim? If one of the main barrels is poisoned, surely there should be more. Huh. I'll take my time and prepare my case. Then, we will see justice served. I see where this is going. 